rip, 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 rip it though. What's up, people? Welcome back to Crash Flow. And uh, today, I'm gonna meet up with a good friend of mine, R.B. Umali, legendary filmer, skateboard filmer. That uh, man, he, he really gave me my first, I don't wanna say break, but like first dude I filmed with in New York City, and he supported my skating since I was a kid. But I wanna talk to him about kids that are interested in filming and things that they can uh, do that they should know about filming because I think early on in skating, I know I was a guy with a point and shoot camera with all my friends, I used to shoot photos. And then I realized I wanted to just skate, but I started getting into photography. But I think usually out of a crew of kids, there's usually one guy that you know wants to buy the camera or wants to film everybody or wants to shoot photos. So I was interested to talk to RB about, you know, how he started filming and what are certain things that kids should know today that would help them to get going, to what cameras they should buy, what techniques. So I'm interested too, because I don't even know, you know, I'm usually on the other side filming, but, so let's go meet up with them, RB now. Uh, oh, here, here he is right here. Yeah. What's, What's up, up buddy? Right. RB, you Mally, legend, legend, What's legend. Up, <laughs> All right. What's up guys? Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, taking yeah. over the camera now. <laughs> ah, that's my man. My man, Eli right here. Yeah, so, I mean, RB's filmed, you know, he's made his own videos, Peep This, to EST videos. Those were the first videos I was ever, I was ever in as a kid to film for Zoo York for how many years? Uh, about 20-something years with Zoo York, man. Yeah, I was, I was at Zoo York for every single phase of that company. <laughs> and now he continues run. to work with big brands from everybody, Red Bull to stuff outside of skating. Yeah, it's all skate-related in some one way or another, but yeah, I'm thinking outside the box these days. So, when did you know, like, when did you know you wanted to, like, you were skateboarding, and when did you know you were like, oh, I want to film? Yeah, I mean, first, I got into skateboarding, you know, after, like, you know, BMX riding and watching Back to the Future the same way a lot of kids from my generation, or a lot of old men from my generation got into skateboarding. <laughs> and, um, I feel like, I got, I just started watching skate videos, like the Bones Brigade videos, the A Street videos, all the World Industries videos were all, like, super influential to me. And then my friends and I started getting a little better at skating. We wanted to start filming our tricks. You were the dude that was like, well, my ah, I'm gonna yeah. get a camera? Well, my, no, my dad had a video camera. It was oh, like my dad's video oh, camera. So your dad's, and I pretty much, awesome. yeah, I pretty much hijacked my dad's camera. Wow. And like, he, he bought the camera for like family memories and stuff. And then was I just started. Like, no, it was a little, little Sony eight millimeter camera. Okay. And uh, he got it from the sharper image. I remember like. It was a uh, yeah. It was high tech at the time. Now I look at it, it's really not that tech anymore. That's crazy. But um. So we had to switch stoops real quick. All right. New angle here. So yeah, basically, uh, I hijacked my dad's video camera and uh, started bringing it to the skate park. And then I, I noticed in all the Eighth Street videos, they had a fit. They were using fisheye lenses that were like real circular and wide. And I really wanted to get that look. So we bought this like cheap thirty dollar fisheye lens that I found in some electronic catalog. And then I was the man at the skate park because I was the only one with a video camera that had a fisheye lens. And uh, some of my friends got sponsored and next thing I know I'm filming for videos like Blockhead and uh, Planet Earth and stuff like that. Like this is when I was still a teenager oh, wow. at the skate park of Houston and then I ended up getting sponsored. So it, 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 it like happened fast because you were the only guy was in well, it Texas seemed like it, with a camera. Well it seemed like it happened, it took a long time, but uh, you know when you're, when you're 15 years old by the time you're 15 to 18 that seems like a long time but it's really not that long like three within three years i was like i'm making like i, I was making sponsor me tapes to like filming for actual skate videos and then by the time i was 18 i got a gig shooting for 411 video magazine and then i moved to new york so city to go all to school. before new york you're already because yeah. that's what i was wondering like when did yeah. you get your first so that's your first gig your first break i guess yeah i was right? filming at the skate park of houston for 411 video magazine. Wow. I, didn't, I didn't even know that. Yeah. So a lot of the first 411 videos, like 411 issue five till like, I don't know. I started in issue five. That's when I started getting like, doing articles for 411. So then, basically, back when I backtracked for the kids, yeah. like, so basically you kind of had a crew, right? And you were like, or you're the guy with the camera. Or how did you get known as like, oh yeah, RB's filming. Like it just, it seems like, a ha like that it happened quickly. I mean, first I started filming just like young kids my age. But then a lot of the older kids at the skate park are like, oh, can you film this too, film that too? Like, oh, yeah, yeah, I want to yeah, work yeah. on the Sponsor Me tape too. And Kind of right place, right time too. But... Oh yeah, but I mean, I get, that was one of the first things, pieces of advice that I was going to give to kids that want to film is like, 
uh, fall in love with your subject. Be, be an avid skateboarder. Make sure you love skateboarding, love what you're shooting. And uh, you gotta establish relationships with uh, the people you're filming. You know, like if you're out filming your friends and just like skating with your friends all day, it's not gonna feel like a job filming. You're just yeah. like, oh, it's just. I mean, we've been filming, like I was saying, yeah. we've been filming 20 years. It's great. Yeah. More, you know? Yeah, I mean, I met you already while I was taking filming yeah. seriously, but. But back still, in the day, it was just a, like a relationship. Yeah, back in the day, it was like, oh, I was also a skater, but my dad had the camera, so like, I would film sometimes, but then I would pass the camera on to a friend, and he would film me, mm-hmm. and it was just like it ended up being the the camera for our whole crew, you know. That's so cool. And That's then, so uh, funny that you just were like, Dad, I'm gonna confiscate this camera. And go. No, I mean, it was it was always his camera, and then he realized I was using it way more, and then in high school, I ended up getting my own camera that was a little better than the one he he was using, and then. Uh, yeah, I made a video in high school that I ended up selling through South Shore Skateboard Distribution. We Man, sold it seems like... seems like you were already on your yeah. way so quickly before you even came to New York. I mean, I was lucky to have all those connections. That's like the first thing I'm saying. You need relationships with people you're filming and you got to be cool to everyone you meet on the way. And I was lucky enough to be cool with all the people at South Shore Distribution who still distribute skateboards to skateboard shops all around the country. And they picked up my video and they bought... 2,000 copies of my video and I ended up making enough money off that to buying a professional high eight, like three chip video camera that they were ma- making all the plan B videos with and there was a shut up and skate contest at our local skate park where all the pro filmers came and I was like whoa they're all filming with this like sick camera it was the Sony VX3 which I ended up getting and then and then I moved to New York City with that camera already have, having relationships at Transworld and 411 so then so you came here like once, by the time you got to New York you were like ready to go. Like, oh yeah, and I was young and hungry. I was yeah. 17 years old, a freshman at NYU, connections at the main skateboard media outlets and in the city where like there's hardly anyone really filmed. So yeah, I was in the right place at the right time. I was also an avid skater and you know people got along with me and yeah, I just wanted to film film film, you know. Sick. Yeah, I didn't want to stop. All right, so I'm a skater kid. I've been skating for a couple months to a year. I'm getting better, but I like filming. And I want to start filming my friends. And maybe even do something with the filming. What's, what, where do I start Like for kids out there that want to start filming skating? Yeah, I mean, first things first, I would get, get a good camera that you're comfortable using. You don't need to spend that much money on a camera. You can make a really good video with just your phone these days. Or get a GoPro. But um, accessory-wise, I would get a, get a nice wide-angle lens and get something to keep your camera stable. Just use, yeah, use what you can afford. I mean, yeah, if you can yeah. afford a really no, nice camera, great, but you don't need the nicest camera. Just, it's all about what you're filming. So that is key to that first piece of advice. Make good relationships with your subject. Yeah, if you, if you want to film good skaters, be cool with all the best skaters and, you know, let them know that you want to film. And most good skaters want to get their tricks on film, you know? So if you're out there and you want to, you want to film, like a lot of good skaters will let you practice, you know, like getting your angles down with, with them and, yeah, just keep practicing. Just film as much as you can. Watch your footage and whatever you want to do to make it better, you know? I guess another piece of advice would be to watch a lot of skate videos. See what you like. See what influences you. And not ju- don't just mimic that, but use that as, like, you know, inspiration to, to take your craft and take it to the next level. Either imitate it or do something different. Like, there's no wrong way to film. Everybody has their own, like, preference of what looks good. And if it looks good to you and other people like it, that's cool. You know, other people not, might not like it at first. And then the next thing you know, everybody might be biting your style and trying to film just like you, you know? So you don't need expensive equipment. Be like actual, have a valuable relationship with friends and people that will yeah. last long. Um, and love your subject. Watch other skate videos, see what other people are doing. Yeah. So how do you kind of, when you start filming, how do you start to have your own, I don't want to say voice because it's film, but your own like take on like your style of filming? How do you start getting into that as a filmer? Because I feel like when you made Deep This and all that became like, that was your style of filming. So yeah, basically, you know, I, I was always influenced by the H Street videos and the World Industries videos, but then I wanted to take it to, put my twist on it, which was taking it to New York City, giving it that urban feel and putting music that I thought complemented the skater and the environment, which was hip hop, the hip hop soundtrack of the mid to late 90s. And it took, I was just in the right place at the right time. And it all kind of came together. And that ended up being my flavor of things, you know. And then when people th- think of, like, mid to late 90s New York City skateboarding, 
they think of my videos because I was the only one out there making videos like that. But yeah, pretty much you can you can put your own twist on anything, you know. And then, yeah, make it original. But obviously you're going to be influenced and copy other people's styles at first. And then once you get your craft down, you can start putting your own twist on things. You know, and then, um, yeah, another piece of advice is like, be a skater also, you know. If you, that will help your relationship with other skaters. If you know about skating and they also see that you can skate, they're going to take your filming more seriously and not just think that you're, they're wasting their time filming with someone that doesn't know anything about skateboarding, you know? I know one thing for me is, that was key, is always like, and that's why me and RB, we always got along, it's like, filmers that come and skate the spot and hang out and you start developing that relationship and people that love skateboarding, you know, that's a simple thing that, you gotta really love skateboarding. You gotta, you gotta love filming skateboarding. Like, Cause we've gone through so much shit over the years. And been the hottest yeah. summers, the coldest winters. I'm like, come on, let's go out, you know? But yeah. you gotta love skating and love what you do. So if you're not really in it and you just wanna like make money filming or skating, you know, it's like, it probably might not be for you. So yeah. make sure you're really into it before you wanna go yeah. buy the camera and yeah. all the it's, skate stuff. It's a labor of love. Like you're gonna, you're gonna spend more money doing it that before you really are like making any money doing it. And I was definitely lucky to make some money doing what I love. And if you are lucky enough to make money doing what you love, you're gonna do a good job at it, you know? And uh, yeah, you gotta, you gotta be patient. Patience. It takes a lot of time, yeah. You gotta, you gotta be patient, be willing to sit there and go over and over and over again until he like lands it over and over again. <laughs> Cause I take mad yeah, long. Yeah. I'm, I don't well, land tricks first try anymore. Well, you, they might land it first try, but it might not be perfect, you know? Well, that one time I got that line. Yeah. And, <laughs> and also like, yeah, you want, it's almost more important for me to make sure the skater is happy with the trick before I'm happy with it, you know? And that is like the biggest feeling of gratitude is when you make a, a video part with a skater and then he's actually like psyched on the part or she's actually psyched on the part. And uh, just knowing that like you were there for that, all those battles and yeah. seeing the final product and seeing other people appreciate it, like that's, that's a bigger paycheck than any company will ever pay you for you know, putting the hours of work that you're going to put in. Because, yeah, all the hours that you put into making a video part is way less than minimum wage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do a lot of skating for nothing. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> now nah, it's, all, it's all for the love. And at the end of the yeah. day, now I get to have this <laughs> lifelong relationship with this dude. Yeah. It's been amazing. And then it's not just the relationships you're building. You're, you're making memories. And then the video that you're putting out there for everyone to see, that's like an eternal memory that you can pass on from generation to generation. You've left your mark and yeah, that's that's such a good feeling, you know? Yeah, peep this is forever now, bro, <laughs> legend, legend. Yeah, I've been making videos that over 20 years ago that people are still watching to this day, which is pretty crazy to me. I, you know, considering now with the internet, like people are putting Instagram posts up one day and then people are forgetting about it the next week. Like I was lucky to make videos in an era where, you know, it took a long time to make a video, yeah. put, it, put it on a videotape, send it out to, people all over the world and by the time people saw it it would be like a month or two you know whereas now like the kids are all lucky you just film it on your phone edit put it out there and kids see it all over the world like that same day so yeah. like yeah you guys got crazy, it easy crazy times, <laughs> you guys yeah. got it easy like go out there and just shoot as much as you can man well i hope that's like enough little tips you know i think you gave you plenty of little things to get started yeah there's a lot <laughs> maybe you got something out of it but there's there's a lot to know but i would just get out there and meet a crew go skate you don't need an expensive camera. I think that's important. So yeah, appreciate it, Andy. My pleasure, you like. All right, we're not socially distanced anymore. <laughs> Hand sanitizing now. <laughs> Later, guys.